Hi. Hi, wir sind heute in München beim Basel Melody Konzert und das ist sogar schon unser zweites. Vor ein paar Tagen waren wir nämlich schon mal in Berlin unterwegs, am Ende der Fashion Week und wollten da die Band schon mal ein bisschen kennenlernen und haben dazu mit den Fangirls gesprochen und heute wollen wir mal mit ihnen selber reden und wissen, wer sie eigentlich sind. Um noch mehr Action einzubauen, haben wir uns überlegt, wir könnten uns mal wieder der Nimmes in den Mund Challenge stellen. Und jeder von uns hat sich jetzt wieder drei Begriffe überlegt, die der andere sagen muss. Und liebe Sunny, diesmal auf Englisch? Diesmal auf Englisch natürlich. Und bitte keinen Heiratsantrag. Nee, den habe ich dieses Mal weggelassen, aber ja, du willst ja bestimmt doch keinen Boy heiraten. Dann das ist dein erstes Wort. Boy. Boy. Okay. Dein zweites ist Fireman. <lacht> okay. Und wir sind ja nonstop hungry. Natürlich erzählst du auch was über McDonalds. McDonalds, Boy, Fireman. Mhm. Ich bin aber gespannt, ob du meine Wörter einbauen kannst. Ich auch. <lacht> old but gold. Ich würde sagen, wir bleiben bei den Gurken Cucumber. Oh no. Diesmal kein Salat, weil es ist ein bisschen kälter, aber Gurke ist gesund. Cucumber. <lacht> ähm, Frog. Bleiben wir bei der Farbe Grün, okay. <lacht> Und Gas Station. Gas Station? Ja. Wie soll ich denn das ins Interview einbauen? Ja, vielleicht müssen wir jetzt zum Tanken fahren. Stimmt, der Tourbus ja ist nonstop leer. Okay, ähm, ich bin gespannt, ob ich es dieses Mal schaffe. Drück mir die Daumen, bitte. Weil Sunny hat immer so gemeine Bestrafung. Ich habe gehört, sie hat schon so ein paar ganz böse Dinge sich überlegt. Ja. Das Interview werden wir auf Englisch führen, deswegen aktiviere doch mal die Untertitel. Hi. 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 We're here today with Leo and Charlie from Basel Melody tonight on the International Opposite Day. Woo! Woo! Oh, is it's, that a thing? Yeah, actually, of course. Actually, correctly, you should say it's not opposite day. It's not opposite day. It's opposite day, but I is think this actually, would be too confusing and would get out of control. Is it actually opposite day? It's yeah. International opposite day. No, it's not. Oh man, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, that's why we will just go with switching characters for the first question, which Sick. is a fan question. Hey. And uh, the question is. How would you describe your dream girl? So, Charlie, you have to answer as Leo. And Leo, would you please start answering as Charlie and describe you know, three to five features of his dream girl? Okay, we know, we know each other quite well, so this should be okay. Okay, so oh, hold on, let me go first. Okay, yeah, I want to go first. So, do we have to say the opposite of what he likes? No. Okay, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> I, don't I, don't know, I just don't know whether to say no, no, no. Just to just to completely ruin your life or not. No, I don't. No, I'll be nice. I right. I'm feeling nice today. So Leo likes a girl that's quite outgoing, um, happy, fun. Um, I know what you want to say. I know. I know. There's don't so many it. things I want to say. Don't say it. Um, I think you favour the brunette region. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And I'm pretty sure you like dark eyes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Can you put it better? And he, and he likes. You like. No. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't, bro. Uh, so, um, here goes my name is Charlie. Um, I, he Charlie likes some. Um, I think he does like like blondes, but that. That's subject to change, you know? Yeah. It's just special. Yeah. Like, uh, I think he likes quite bright eyes. Yeah. So he can stare into them and make sweet love. <laughs> 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 What? I'm sorry, bro. Um, Charlie likes uh, someone who is as energetic as him, and if they're not, it can get... A bit tense, like... Yeah, because he just calls you boring the whole time. So that's what happens with us, so I'm yeah. guessing, <laughs> yeah. Um, he likes, he likes someone who can be lazy when he's being lazy, but at the same time, someone who can get up and go when he wants to get up and go, you know? Still so, like me. A very adaptive, a very adaptive personality. <laughs> It's like you wake up in the morning, Charlie's there like this. <laughs> so like 12 p.m., you, you can do that as well, but at the same time, He'll have one of them mornings where he wakes up and he's like, oh, I'm going to the gym for the next eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, it just goes for like two days. Or <laughs> yeah, I'm quite a selective person. Yeah, so yeah, that's Charlie, so. Yeah, great. 
<laughs> we tried to keep it as PG as possible. Yeah. <laughs> so we asked your fans to send us some questions, and as you might guess, most of them were with the topic love. So we stay in there a little yeah, longer. Cool. Yeah, sure. Cool. I like, I like, yeah. I like and one in, one other fan question has been: Did you ever get interested in a fan during meet and greets? And if you did, what happened? I think there's times where like a fan will come into a meet and greet and like she's she's nice looking and you're like, whoa, like, hey, hey mama. But like but like it's never become anything, you know? It's not been like, oh my god, like I want a number, blah blah blah. It's just been like because you've got to be professional, you know. Um But yeah, there's not every now and again though. Yeah, I think with us as well, like our fans have like a lot of like they have a lot of choice over the type of meet and greet picture they want. Like they come and they print out pictures that they want. And a lot of them can be very intimate. <laughs> so like, for example, uh, like they'll want me to like hold them, they hold their face with like my hand and then like be quite close to them and then like look into their eyes as if I'm going to kiss them. So if there were a girl that I did really like, I'd probably just kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But until now, it did not happen. Maybe tonight. No, nah, maybe tonight. But like, I'm, I wouldn't actually kiss them. I was only joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I wouldn't, bro. But there's been so many, so many opportunity for our fans to be able to kiss me, and they haven't. So thank you very much. <laughs> Quite respectful. Keep yeah, very respectful. your boundaries. Yeah, just like you know. Don't try that with me. Yeah, don't try it with me. <laughs> now it's the time. <laughs> <laughs> And did you ever fall in love with the same girl? No, no. I don't think that's happened. I think there's been one time where there was one girl and she had a Charlie and stuff, she had everything else and stuff. Like, Go her and stuff, Oh, yeah. I remember this. <laughs> but basically, there was this like, there was this fan slash like friend. She was like a fan friend. She was like a fan that had become a really good friend of ours. And um, yeah, and Leo was like in love with this girl, like completely. <coughs> I didn't know because like he didn't really tell me much about her <laughs> stuff. Oh, <yeah>. And then um, <laughs> I ended up getting very close with her. That was broken. But, like up. not in that way, but like I just started talking to her on Snapchat and stuff. And um, I think yeah. she liked Charlie more than me, which broke my heart. And like oh, Leo found yeah. out. Leo found out, and he, he just he wasn't happy. With but like he didn't know I was talking to her. Like he knew I was talking to her. But he didn't know I was talking to her and I was starting to really like her. But then he just like, stole her away and left me with nothing. <laughs> oh. Nah, I was joking. Yeah, nah, I'm, nah, I'm over nah, it. Nah, yeah, we're over it. We're over it. We're over it. So let's make it a little happier now. <laughs> yeah. Because this were our fan questions and what we are really interested to know, what has been the most romantic thing that you've ever done to anyone? Like going to McDonald's, for example. The most romantic. Oh. Um, ooh. That's difficult. That is pretty difficult. Yeah, buying a Happy Meal at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, buying a gas I'm station. Quite, <laughs> I'm quite... I'm quite generous, I guess. So, like, I, I, I tend to do, like... Like, when I did have a girlfriend, anyway. Like, I'd be, like... Like, we go out for meals all the time and stuff like that. But I think, like, booking a holiday for us both. And like I paid for everything as well, so I think that's probably the most romantic, romantic thing I've done. I'm not quite a romantic person, like I'm clueless when it comes to that stuff. I don't really know what to do. Like I try to be, but I'm not, I'm not very good. Yeah, uh, I think the most romantic thing I've done is like sent a gift via the post. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like... With flowers, yes. rock green or... Actually, oh no, I'll tell you what, oh, okay, I found out what it was. Oh, this is so cringe. <laughs> What so, have you done? <laughs> I remember me and um, I had been away for like two months or something crazy and um, I had a girlfriend at the time and <laughs> I wanted to get her like a bunch of flowers but I didn't know any flower shops around like her, her way so I bought a bunch of flowers at home and we lived like two hours away so I had to get the train. And I literally sat on the train for two hours with a bunch of flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst thing was the train station was right next to her house. So I had to walk from the train station to her house just with a bunch of flowers in my bag. Oh. That was really cringe. That was cute, bro. Well, that was that, cringe. That is that, that's from yeah. that, really That's not, man. man. There were so many people on that train, like... Yeah, they were just jealous. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, that's what it is. 
So enough with all the love stuff with girlfriends and stuff because I'm pretty sure that child ray is real. Oh yeah, oh. me too. Oh. Child ray is real. Get away from me. So. That's why we're like so mean to each other. Yeah. Of what course. do you love and more importantly, what do you hate about each other? No, this would be easy. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll go first. All right. So the thing I love about Charlie is, um, can you start with the hate, so then you can cheer me up with the love? Okay. <laughs> okay. The thing I hate about Charlie is, uh, to be honest, like, there's not a lot. Actually, there's a lot, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> nah, it's Whoa. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, come clean. Bro. Come clean. Oh uh, nah, it's hard, bro. I think Charlie's a messy person, and I like to think I'm quite like tidy. So like, one thing I dislike about Charlie, just hates a strong word. Uh, I just like, you know, he could be a, a, a tiny bit like cleaner. <laughs> As in like, he leaves, his, he leaves his stuff everywhere, like his clothes, just like... Pfft. Yeah. It's like a clothes bomb. Yeah man, it's not like your suitcase is spinning around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well I mean, today's not a great example of that, but... No, I know what you mean, I'm quite messy. But I'm the... Like, I'll have a kebab or something, I'll just leave it on the side till the morning. Yeah, whereas I'd put it in the bed, like... Yeah. Um, but... I'd say the thing I love about Charlie is, uh, he's he's... He motivates me, you know, like when whether we're having a bad show or like when I'm having a bad show because he'll just come over and whisper something in my ear and then it'll be all good again. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make me laugh. The, the right motivation. Yeah, <laughs> the right <laughs> um, All right, with Leo, um, the thing I hate, um, as much as I respect it, because it's a, it's a good choice and like for all the right reason and moral reason, but it's his veganism. <laughs> Like, because like we used to always go for meals and like eat steak together and like just you all this it. magic. I totally feel yeah, it. Yeah, just all this magical <laughs> stuff and then it's just been taken away by his morals. And like, although it's the right thing to do, like it is sad because like I try to eat in vegan restaurants but I can't because I don't like vegetables. <laughs> so like you can't eat in a vegan restaurant when you don't like vegetables. And I feel like that, like we've lost a lot of connection over that issue. Yeah, I mean, food really did use the bond over food. Bro. Like we used to have steak with gravy. Oh, bro, talk to me. I just, <laughs> we used to order the same stuff. Like one of us would order, and then we'd be like, "Yeah, I just have that." Yeah, yeah. But I respect why he does it and everything. Sorry, bro. I didn't really. And I wish I could do it, but like I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. She's vegan too. Yeah, I feel no, like I, it's, I feel it. like it's creating a boundary, you know. Yeah, bro. I get away. Like <laughs> I sit there eating beef jerky, and like I feel bad. <laughs> and and who's the biggest boy? <laughs> um, Opposite day. No, 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 it's all good. Um, I mean, this was a spontaneous question. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. It's got to be me. I'm. I'm not. But it's got to be like me if it's one of us. Yeah. Like I think like I crave female attention more than he does. So I guess it would be me. Like, I'm not a f boy, like, I don't like mess around with girls and stuff, but like, I feel if it was one of us, it would be me. Yeah. Wird das also auch mal geklärt. Aber wie sieht denn eigentlich dein Traum denn mit Leo und Charlie aus? Bei ihren Meet and Greets kann man ja Pizza mit denen essen. Im nächsten Teil sprechen wir dann über ihre Pläne 2018 und noch weitere Projekte und Musik. Stay tuned! Every day I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Uh, okay. I had an embarrassing moment last night.